so let's talk about part 2, chapter 17, and I named this chapter zigzag. Let's take a look at the question and think about it when I go through the story with you guys, okay? How did zigzag treat Stanley in this chapter, and why did he do that? So the story continued, and uh, because X-ray found the go-to, remember? And so they were digging the holes, and they continued digging. And um, the boys uh, continued to dig in the spot where the warden bleed um, uh, X-ray found the go-to. But of course, Stanley knew that it wasn't the right spot because X-ray's holes, uh, X-ray's hole wasn't the one Stanley. Uh, found the goat, whereas they found the goat too, okay? And the holes were dug bigger and bigger, and eventually all the holes merged into one big hole. And it was already after a week and a half after Ingrid found the goat tip, and the warden has become more and more impatient, and uh, she arrived late every day and left early because she started to lose her patience. And one day, um, because Squid made the warden mad, because when the warden asked them what they were, what were they do, what they were doing, and Squid answered nothing, and so warden was mad. And at that moment, Armpit returned from the bathroom, and so the warden jabbed at him with uh, a pitchfork and knocking him into a hole and leaving spots of blood on his shirt, hurting him. So, um, and then the warden left, and uh. At that point, the warden was really mad and told Mr. Pandinsky, saying that he was giving the boys too much water. But do you remember in the beginning who asked Mr. Pandinsky to give these boys water? It was actually the warden herself. So you could see that uh, the, the temper of uh, the warden actually changed pretty fast and she was really impatient. And it kind of implies that she had um, all the power in the camp. Everyone really needed to follow what she said, and she had all the authority. Okay, so this is what um, uh, this incident implied. Okay, and then um, after uh, this incident, and they continued to dig the holes, and at once, um, Zigzag knocked Stanley uh, in the head with a shovel, cutting a gash near his ear, hurting him, and. Um, yeah, people asked for help, and so Mr. Sir made his, uh, help him put on bandage with uh, the sack of sunflower seeds, and, but he simply asked him to go back to work, and when Stanley went back to work, uh, Zigzag was not apologetic, so he didn't apologize to, um, Stanley, and he even asked Stanley to clear the dirt, uh, where where uh, the dirt was. On Stanley's shovel when he was hit. Why would Zigzag treat Stanley like this? Think about it. Who actually made all these boys suffer, and why? So that's why Zigzag was really upset that Stanley actually found the go-to and passed his X-ray. So the warden made everyone uh, dig holes, and they also. So that was. Uh, the, the summer of chapter 17 and here's are the references so thank you